We just wrapped up, up interviews. Hey, Let's everybody. Try this. So right now we're waiting for the sun to go down. We're getting equipment set up. We thought we'd jump on here and say hello to everybody. It is a cold day in Pennsylvania. Let's see if my chat will work. That's why I was just kind of pulling up on here. Right now, Rocky's inside the house putting new batteries in. I just wrapped up interview. Just did one interview tonight, so. I shut off some lights. Did you? Upstairs. It's spooky. It's definitely a creepy house. Obviously, we won't know until we investigate it if there's anything in there, but according to the stories of the owner, other people who have been here, the neighbors, what's happened in this neighborhood, could be a very interesting night. Yeah, one thing that was crazy, I came outside and I was grabbing some equipment, and actually a neighbor that just, a house here behind me somewhere, um, there was actually uh, four people that was mm -hmm. murdered in, the, in one of these houses. That's what he told me. There was an entire family right across the street from the house that were investigating were murdered one night. And then there were some other bad stuff that happened in the um, couple houses next door. And then this house, what this house you'll see, I'll take you guys in and show you guys this house. But as they were remodeling this house, gutting it and putting up new drywall and stuff, they kept finding like kids toys and kids clothing and stuff in the walls. Um, and then as they started ripping up the floors, they kept finding like children's teeth scattered throughout the house. And the claim inside this house is that they see two children, um, almost, it almost like he described it, it almost reminds me of like, um, maybe like two German Baptist twin boys or like two Amish twin boys all dressed in black. Mm -hmm. And they, they've called the cops multiple times to have the house searched because they believe that somebody was inside the house. And the one night they actually seen the boys in the basement, they barricaded the basement so there was no way for anybody to get out. And then they came back in, I think it was the next day. Yeah. And nobody was in the basement and nothing was moved as far as being barricaded. So definitely creepy. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, uh, Sunday. Uh, let's see here. Sunday says, Sean, Josh, hope you're both doing fantastic, praying for protection and safety. Yeah, we need it tonight, I think. I mean, I'm gonna I'll keep... I'll tell you what, I went down that basement, because I went in the house, I was looking for Josh, and I went down the basement by myself, and the, like when you go in the basement, there's like a room that splits off and goes over into the next room. It is very, very, very scary. So I'm not looking forward to actually being alone down there investigating. And with a lot of the activity takes place in the basement, the apparitions they, they see and stuff. So majority of our cameras we're gonna put down in the basement and hopefully we'll catch something. Thank you, uh, Brent. Thank you, uh, Tracy. I mean, doing the walkthrough, like the main level, you got like a creepy feeling. Basements are always creepy, so it's hard to judge. But like when I was upstairs, I felt fine upstairs. Yeah, the upstairs didn't feel too bad. Cause I actually went up there and it took me a minute to figure out how to shut off the bathroom light. It was so, it wasn't as bad as the basement. But me, I always kind of get a little spooked out anyway, so. But the basement, yeah, you definitely, you get that feeling like you're being watched and all that stuff, too. That's why I told him is, because he asked me if I felt anything in the basement. And I said, well, I just spent half hour listening to you tell me these creepy-ass stories from the basement. <laughs> so that may, like, have something to do with it. But, and that's one thing, like, when we're in setting up our equipment, when we do our walkthrough and during the day, if we have an area where we feel creepy, that's where we tend to put our cameras and equipment. 
and then other areas like the upstairs I felt fine upstairs um, now there is an abandoned house next door that's supposedly haunted as well we can't get into that house tonight but they have had experiences and which you guys will see like when you listen to the interview at this case they've got some really creepy shit going on at that house oh yeah if and we, that's what I think of what's going to end up happening with this case is because just like the neighbor back here when I was out here I was talking to her for a minute with the homeowner here at the house that we're investigating and she was talking about stuff happening here at her house and that's where the family that was killed in there so I do got a funny feeling. Was she let you investigate there? I don't know. I, they was leaving. Uh -huh. So I, I do got a feeling that we will be back to this. Yeah, that's what they town. said. Like he said, like if you look down the street, there's all kinds of cars, all kinds of people living. You come to this part of the street where all the bad stuff's happened. And like literally nobody lives down here. So I don't know. Uh, Rocky is inside the house uh, changing mm -hmm. or putting batteries in all the equipment. Yeah, so I will definitely take you guys in and show you before we start filming. Uh, thank you, uh, Nessie Pill. Did I pronounce that right? Yeah. I've already got some cameras set up in the basement. So, like, when we're, if we do go in one at a time later tonight, we'll be able to monitor everything inside the house because that was his fear is you know this could be extremely dangerous he told us when things get bad he leaves like he's never stayed long enough to find out what happens if you don't leave so he warned us if things do get too bad then you know you guys need to pack up your stuff and leave because he's basically just living here while he remodels he doesn't own this house he I mean, he's just in here working. He's a contractor that's living here while he works on the house. Do you guys ever plan on coming to Buffalo, New York? We do plan on coming to Buffalo. But that's the good thing with this house is there's just so many people in this neighborhood who have had experiences with this house. So it's not just like one random person inside the house having this stuff go on. Well, that's, an, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure he told me about that he was remodeling one of these other houses. And um, when he was in there first, you know, nothing was happening. But it was like when he starts remodeling them, I think is when he starts having the activity. So it's not like he's having it like from get go. So we'll see if we can try to figure that out as if, you know, the remodeling is what's causing everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe the spirits don't like the changes and stuff. Yeah, because when they started getting the house and started finding all the kid stuff, it's been the teeth is what creeps me out. Thank you, uh, Web Slinger. You know, why would there be like child-sized teeth all over the house. Well, I mean, that and clothes on the walls. Yeah. I mean, if you're putting up drywall or anything like that, why would you be putting kids' clothes in the wall? So between that, the teeth, and I'm sure there, there's even more. Just, I don't know. Yeah, and he said this, this part of town's like the worst part of town. And, you know, there's just so much death and stuff, and that's why yeah. a lot of people avoid this part of town. And we're going to be spending the night in this part of town, so. Yeah. Let's go in. I'll sh we'll see what Rocky's up to. I'll give you guys a quick look at the house, and then um, we'll get started. Uh, no, Kevin. I don't know when we'll be back in Pennsylvania. Don't forget your keys. We're going to make sure Rocky's not being drug across the floor. I think it's like 22 degrees here. And we're going to shut the heat off in here. Flip 
this around so you guys can see. Anything happen? I thought I heard something upstairs while I was banging or like a knocking. Let's grab, um, you grab that camera. I've got two IR cameras already set up in the um, basement. So let's take that GoPro, put it in the basement. This is Rocky and I's first time being out investigating since we were sick. So we're, we're both healthy tonight, so. Let me grab the light. Where's my light? Okay, let's go down and set up. Where if we should put a... Grab that rim pod too. Because there's two rooms down there and they've had They've seen the apparitions in both rooms. I got the other one like this for use my grandpa. Both those will work. These stairs are a little sketchy, so let's go down one at a time. We got the end back there because there's only one plug in. Yeah, so if we stick one on like that tire, the GoPro I want to stick in this room. The area they've, which it's so freaking tight back there. Yeah, just stick the GoPro. If we can get it right back in that corner. Because I do have those other cameras, so. Yep. Yeah. This room's that taller. Oh, I have to watch. But when they were digging up this basement floor and stuff, this is where they were finding like the teeth and like. Yeah, why would the heck would there be a whole bunch of baby teeth down here in the basement? Mm -hmm. Be cool to find one. I don't know if like a whole bunch is like two or three or four. Or... Yeah, there will be a brand new episode, Family Haunting, next Friday night, 8 p.m. So make sure you guys tune in. It's actually a really, really, really good episode. Great family we worked with. Yeah, go ahead and turn that one on and just hit record. Is it red? Oh, I gotta find spots where I can stand up. I'm not that tall. He's like six five. I was gonna say, yeah, he's taller than me. Look at Josh, he can stand up in here. You're standing up in here too. Not underneath a beam. What are you doing? Something got dropped up upstairs. 
Okay. Let's head back up. I'd stick an alarm by that hole, too. That alarm that's in your... By that hole? The hole back there. To the... Okay, I came back upstairs, so I didn't lose my signal. This is the kitchen. Let's shut this light off. We got this. That's our safety tonight, so if anybody tries breaking in, I'll show you guys real quick. So like when we're outside, we're not for sure if we'll come in here by ourselves yet tonight. Some of the not so safe areas we typically try to stay together. So those are our cameras in the basement so we can monitor. And what we may do before we even get started is go outside and just monitor the house with nobody in it. It's always good to, uh, and you're pretty much in the house all day, you know, shooting interviews and stuff. So we got all the heat shut off. This right here is a room, and then we got upstairs. I'll show you guys upstairs real quick. Now, I didn't feel like creepy upstairs. Now, you watch. We've got all the cameras downstairs. And shit will happen up here. Oh, he left that window open. Supposedly they see images in those windows and stuff. That house is vacant. So I want to close and lock. This window. Don't want to fall through that. Wind up in the kitchen. It's weird when you walk through a house, you can feel just air, you know, not, not that there's anything there, but you know how you just get a different feeling. I don't know, upstairs doesn't. And the area, I'll show you guys real quick too. What happened originally is he was hearing stuff down in the basement, which sound like kids. I think he was in this room and he's seen a light shine through the floorboards. So he looked down this hole and seen two kids staring up at him. I'll show you guys this hole. So that's the hole. which is one reason we put so many um, Yo, know we could do, Rocky? We'll go out and give the house like 15 minutes to um, you get a high EMF. Sure. But we'll go out Let's listen to the house and see what we get. I want to stick that other, take this camera for a second. Okay, go to face him.
take up another go for now. We'll take some cameras out and uh, just listen. Okay. We can watch. I think you should set up a camera in the kitchen or... That's the fun part about investigating is spending hours setting up equipment. Thank you all for uh, tuning in to watch us uh, setting up and get ready to investigate. can't see me very well. That one bathroom upstairs, I wouldn't go into just because that one floor, it's just... Oh, better. yeah, the fat board. That's one I was, where I was shutting the light it's, off. Yeah, it's, liter to me. it's literally a couple sheets of drywall. Mm -hmm. If you fall through that, you're going to come through right here. That's what I'm saying. It slid pretty good whenever I was up there already. Okay, let's go out and um, let me tell them to grab one of those cameras. Do you, do you got anything facing that door? Because he said that door moves. He's came back to where it's been unlocked. Oh, I'll have to get that GoPro. That's why I'd almost face that door than anything else. The basement door, because these cabinets he normally has shoved up against the door, and he said when he came back in here, the lock, just one of them sliding locks, has been like slid back up over, like where you can open the door. Any spirits in here? Anyone inside this house? We've got some equipment set up in here. We're going to leave the house. If you want to try to communicate or set up any of our equipment, we'll be back a little bit later. I did lock that. Yeah. <laughs> a little nervous about this town or this area. Okay. Whoops. Okay, we're going to leave Rocky in there for a minute and he's going to come out. He's just finishing up, setting up a camera. Oops, hold on a minute. Okay. Unlock Rocky's back door. Oh, give me a minute, guys. Let me put this up here. What is that? Okay, so we will turn on. Rocky next door. Did you, did you unlock it? Yeah, he's not. Oh, he's filming. Okay. Yeah, with the light on. Okay. 
Okay, there's Rocky. Let's go to a full. Damn it. Well, we definitely got a. I'll tell you what, sitting here at night, this is a spooky area. It's not lit up at all. It's not even completely dark yet. Why don't I have my cameras? Oh, there it is. Just put that off. Okay. See that? You guys want to watch this camera for a minute? Give a thumbs up if you want cam. They said no, it's too blurry. The camera's working. Okay. Should have just left them in the house with them. I hate trying to set shit up in the freaking vehicle. I need this night mission off. I think Travis trying to hide Go to YouTube here. They won't. Oh, we got cameras in there recording audio and stuff, so. Yeah. I want to kind of see if we hear any voices over that. You know what you should have done is plug that baby monitor in. We could have really listened to. So given some of the history that you guys have heard so far, what are some of the questions you would ask inside the house? Josh, I wonder if you could hook one of the speakers up to that. Like that round speaker. I don't think so. Oh. Family hunting tonight. Right now we've got alarms and cameras inside the house. Because we just want to, it's still fairly early. I don't even know what time it is. Like 640. So we're going to let the house sit empty for a little bit and just see what sounds and stuff we may pick up on. 
Rusty says, is there any attached or anything attached to the land? I'm trying to watch that camera to see if anything. Sharon, uh, we have no idea about the teeth, why there would be kids teeth down in the basement or anywhere in the house. Yeah, you know, I wonder if it's got anything to do with the family that was murdered over there. Yeah, because these two houses sat empty for how, how long? Yeah. Well, and that's the thing, you know. I mean, they know about the murder over here, but, you know, I'm sure not. They don't know about all the murders that could have taken place. And these are some old ass houses, too. This whole neighborhood's like super old. You guys got some good questions though. Was there any rituals taking place here? How many children are in here? Oh, he did say that there was, there's like a homeless camp right down the street here. And he said, if you go down there, like they wrote, they carved in like 666 in the trees and stuff. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Chloe. There's like a tent city. Sean, when Rocky and I are inside the house, you sneak down to the tent city. I don't think so. And investigate. <clears throat> We've already been to places like that, and it's definitely somewhere you don't want to be alone. If you guys remember the uh, Chase and Evil episode with uh, Chanel Gilbert. What the hell? Firing or fucking shooting. Yeah, it's backfiring. At least I hope so. Maybe we've been doing a drive by. If we die tonight, we want all of our families to know that we love you. And all of you guys on YouTube, we love you. Yeah. Love, love you guys all. Love all. Did you guys hear that? I said that was scary. Y'all packing? No, we're not packing. Beef turkey. <laughs> we'll throw beef turkey at them. I'll take my uh, lip balm and rub their eye. I feel like we, sometimes you're just safer inside the house. We'll give this a few more minutes. Oh, shit. Somebody's out there. Oh, it's Travis. Oh, whoops. Hold on. You want out there with him? Yeah. I did think about getting one of those uh, burner guns. Have you seen those, Rocky? Burner guns. It's like a non-lethal. Is that that orange gun that you shoot? Well, they come in different colors, but they shoot like pepper ball. Yeah, it was a pepper ball. It's got yeah. pepper spray and mm -hmm. um, it's, it's got like, like three or four different sprays. And it's supposed to instead of put them down for thirty minutes. Yeah. So. Obviously, we don't want to run around with guns, but. If you have a non-lethal gun where you can shoot somebody with pepper balls and have 30 minutes to escape. <laughs> you probably accidentally shoot yourself. Yeah. It'd be like, poof. Oh. Do you imagine Sean walking around in the dark with a gun? <laughs> Even like a, he would, we would walk in and he'd shoot us in the face with pepper spray. Yeah.
Yeah, we'll see. You never know till you get in there and investigate. That's it. What you'll document. Oh, yeah. What areas did you feel creepy? Mm, probably down in the basement. Yeah. I haven't been upstairs. They do drive by with Sean standing out there. Sometimes I feel like you're safer inside of a haunted location than being outside with like real people. Like ghosts, you know, they, they will scare you and stuff, but they're not going to like try to kill you. They should. Yeah. yeah. You never know. I mean, him coming in here doing like this remodel and stuff. They could be trying to get a message or something across or, you know, he's the first freaking person in there in however many years. Is this his house or? No, he's, somebody else owns the house, but they're, he's like remodeling it. So he's living there while he remodels. I'm curious if those cameras inside there are catching anything. I keep getting, in the basement, I keep getting a temperature um, notification. And we've had that heat off for a while. Or that. The camera in the basement keeps notifying me that there's temperature changes in the basement. Oh, yeah, that heat. I shut that heat off probably almost two hours ago. Mm-hmm. I don't think any of the alarms in the basement have went off yet. Yeah, because the one that you can see straight ahead, that's the REM pod back there. Mm -hmm. See all the temperature things? Now, if you watch, I've noticed every time a car has went by out front here, mm -hmm. those basement windows, you can see the headlights. So when we're down there, we'll have to watch for it. if you see lights come through, I mean, obviously you'll hear a yeah. car go by. But see this window right there with the light on? Mm -hmm. Even though this house over here is abandoned, he said that's where he's, he's seen shadows on that, like some might stand in there in that window. I would love to get in that house. I know I would too. Well, I would like getting that one and the one with the murder because I just found out too, I guess the little boy is talking to something in the house. Yeah, Ben, I think was his name. He said it in the interview, but her son, the lady that lives in the house where the murders took place, her son has an imaginary friend, a boy that he talks to. Where they live. Right down. Right, right one behind. of these houses. That's right, right behind us. Yeah. And that's the good thing because a lot of times you come, you do the interviews and people tell you all these tragic stories. You know, obviously you can research it, but some of the stuff you just don't find. But knowing that you guys had somebody come out and validate that, hey, I'm living in the house where the murders took place. Yeah. Oh, that's why I'm so curious about this house. And this house gives off some really bad vibes. So, yeah, anybody just joining next Friday night, 8 o'clock, we have a brand new family haunting. Very, very, very creepy haunting. So make sure you check it out. Next Friday night, we'll be in live chat. We're going to plan on giving away five channel memberships next Friday in the chat. So if you are not a channel member and you want to be one, Make sure in the chat because we're going to pick five people to, um, that camera. We're going to pick five people to, uh, give memberships to. 
I'll post the link to the episode, a preview, um, maybe Monday. And then you guys can share it to all your friends, all your social media. Really good, really good episode. It's very creepy. So you will not want to miss Friday night. Also, anybody new here that wants to join the channel membership, you can click the join button below. We also have Patreon. You can do all that fun stuff. Get to see the episodes early. But um, if you want, check out the merch over on Teesprings. Got a whole bunch of different kind of merchandise you can get there. Really cool shirts and everything. Even got, got mugs and everything. Thank you, Leanne. Yeah, so uh, spring's coming, so get your Paranormal Nightmare or Chasing Evil Spring clothing and be stylish all summer. I got a new uh, Paranormal Nightmare shirt on. I know Josh won't buy me one. All you gotta do is freaking, yes, we have to buy our own merchandise, just so you guys know. That's why I try to get Josh to buy me so the Sean merch. Sean tries to get me to buy him the merch. Yeah. You should. Huh? You should. Here, hold this for a second. I'll see if I can get money. Show my merch. You probably can't see it in here. Oh, I'm sure you probably can. <laughs> Maybe. Can you see it? Kind of. What's it say? Uh, Paranormal Nightmare. Yep. Did you guys see it? What color is it? On the back of it, it says Team Nightmare. What color is it? What is it, green? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what freaking... I'm not guessing. I feel like it's green. Oh, it's long sleeve. Yeah. Oh. Let's see here. That's rocky. He may know. Just turn that on for a second. Can you guys blue. see what color that is? Blue. Dork. Oh. Okay, Rocky says it's blue. Me and Sean say it's green. I know. I said I don't know. So I'm going with I don't know. I'm not saying, so I can't be wrong. Thank you, Chloe. Yeah, so we've let the cameras run long enough. We're going to run inside, double check all of our batteries, and get started. And hopefully tonight we can find some answers to what has taken place inside this house. I feel like this one might be a little bit tricky just because there's so many houses like right in this area that have reports of activity. Could it all? Or is the murder spread throughout this whole community? Plus we can research this house and try to figure out if anything bad happened in this house. I started to, but I haven't found anything yet. I feel but. like he said something. Somebody died in this house. But I think it was an adult. Well, there was two sisters. But I'm not for sure if he knew exactly if they passed away here or not. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't confirm that. But the thing is, the house is really old, so you'd probably... You, We'll have to go back and find, you know, when it was first built and everything. That, and maybe even see what was on this land before this house, what, you know, took place here. And anybody that's, like, psychic or medium or anything like that, or had, like, a picked up on anything when we were doing the walkthrough, drop a comment below and let us know. Yeah, we're going to get ready to run inside and get started. It's going to be a long night. And then we've got like a crazy long drive back home to Ohio tonight. Um, so yeah, next Friday night, 8 o'clock, brand new family haunting. You will not want to miss it. I'll post a preview for it on Monday. And we'll see you guys. If you guys want us to try to update you a little bit later and let you know how things are going, let you know that we're safe. Just let us know and we'll try to jump on here and let you guys know that we're all safe. And be sure to smash that like button. Thank you guys all for the donations. I'm sorry, but chat is moving by super fast. I believe that was Tammy or Deb. So thank you guys all. Everybody have a good weekend. We'll try to update you somehow, some way. 
little bit later tonight and let you know. But you guys are the best. Team Nightmare out. We'll see you guys at some point. Love y'all.